Um, amazing, amazing achievement for us as a football club. Uh, amazing for the girls. We've got such a young squad, so it's um, the first of hopefully many, uh, many good experiences they can have throughout their careers. And I think it's like 16 wins out of 18 games of the whole season. Uh, what's been the key behind this uh, success? Um, consistency, obviously. Uh, taking each game one at a time. Uh, we had some uh, defeats early on in the league. Uh, like you said, we didn't draw any games. I think we lost the two and, and then won the 16. So that was fantastic for us. But those losses really taught us a lot about ourselves. Um, and we collected, as a collective, we um, regrouped and we knew what we needed to work on. And, and we've knuckled down and thankfully got that promotion. And uh, how's the celebrations been? Have you had time to, has it sunk, sunk in yet? And... Um, not quite sunk in, to be honest with you. Yesterday, obviously, we had the celebratory uh, party in the changing room, um, which is great. Uh, but it's one of our girls' birthdays later on this week, so we're going to go out and enjoy ourselves later this week. Um, we still have a game uh, on Sunday to wrap up against Dillminster um, and obviously you've received the trophy, so we'll make sure we uh, prepare just as well for that as we have done. And do you call to your side can uh, do, you do just as well against higher opposition in the higher league next season? I don't, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's going to be tough. It's a big step up for these young girls, but I'm confident that we'll be OK. Um, we've played Buckland here at SJP. Um, and we, we did well against them. If it was for maybe two or three extra players, I think we may have uh, been a lot closer. Um, and obviously we played Cheltenham in the FA Cup and took them all the way. So yeah, we're confident we can compete. Um, our aim next season would probably be to, to, um, to stay safe, maybe mid-table, something like that, and then build upon that the year after. Oh, you say you needed a two, or two or three more players. Is that the aim for maybe next season to bring in a few more and for players to help the squad? push for that mid-table spot? Yeah, definitely. Myself and Clive have already had a conversation about what we would be looking for and we need some experience to help those young girls, um, players that have been there and done it maybe. Um, you know, Exeter City is, is the club to be at. The ladies are moving in the right direction on and off the pitch and I think that will help us attract that quality that we need. And obviously it's great to put a seat on the map, isn't it, in the high leagues? It is, yeah. You know, uh, Plymouth are doing fantastic, Buckland are doing great, um, so City putting their name amongst it now and we're, we're going to hopefully uh, challenge those two teams in the in the distant future, yeah. And obviously you won the uh, league in star with a 3-1 win against Kane, whatever the name is. Um, can you tell me more about that game please, and reflect on that time? Yeah, it was, um, it was an odd game really. They, they set up very defensively. I was quite surprised, obviously, they could have still won the league. Um, but it was just a case of being patient and working for our chances. Um, and then fortunately for us, once we got that one, the penalty came really quickly after. Um, and we had a 2-0 cushion at the half time and then um, there was only really one winner in the, in the game if I'm being completely honest. Um, we knocked on the door and, and, and got our rewards. And the uh, stand-up stat for me this season is the 100 goals uh, scored in the year. That's quite a special. Yeah, to score 100 league goals in any league I think is a fantastic achievement for any club. Um, but to do it in the way that we have obviously with um, with conceding very few as well is also a testament to the girls at the back as well it is to the girls at the, up top who are scoring them week in week out but it's a fantastic achievement um, I think it was only one outfield player that didn't get on the team sheet so obviously they've been spread out but Sophie Gillies deserves a special mention I think she's ran away with the golden boot this year um, so it's first time in six years it's not gone to somebody else uh, some out for jury I think it is so yeah and you're going to round it all off at the end of the year with a nice awards dinner and ceremony and things like that? Yes, that's correct. Um, the uh, Exit City Awards evening on 27th of April. Um, the ladies will have their uh, their moment to shine. Um, the club are obviously going to ensure that they get celebratory drinks and um, have their moment in the spotlight, which they thoroughly deserve. Um, and we couldn't be thankful, really. And one more thing, the support you've had all season and beyond has just been very special, hasn't it? Uh, unbelievable. Um, you know, we started our first pre-season game out at the Cat and Fiddle training ground with just friends and family watching. And last night we... We finished wrapping up the title with over 100 fans there watching and you know through social media and everything like that we've had so much support off the field as well with the club and the trust backing us 100 percent you know the, like i said earlier today that the, the club is going in the right direction and it's definitely one to be a part of and you're hoping that will continue next season and beyond you want as much support as you can for this new league new challenges for 2019 2020 absolutely um the more fans that can come and watch our games hopefully fingers crossed we can arrange to move move house and come down to exeter uh, currently playing up at clumpton but hopefully we can arrange that back behind the scenes and be in Exeter and I'm sure that will attract you know more fans and, and why not.